A New York police officer tonight breaking the infamous blue wall of silence and speaking out about something the NYPD has always denied. Cops have quotas for arrests and for tickets. And the officer says the pressure to make quotas means the arrest of innocent people. Investigative reporter Jim Hoffer is here with his exclusive. Jim. Bill and Liz, a five-year veteran of the NYPD, says his conscience could no longer allow him to remain silent. He claims that the 41st Precinct in the Bronx, it's all about numbers, number of arrests and summonses, often of young minorities who have done nothing wrong. When Officer Adil Polanco dreamed of becoming a cop, it was out of a desire to help people, not, he says, to harass them. I'm not going to keep arresting innocent people. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to keep searching people for no reason. I'm not going to keep writing people for no reason. I'm tired of this. Officer I'm Polanco police says police. one police plaza's obsession with keeping crime stats down has gotten out of control. He claims precinct commanders relentlessly pressure cops on the street to make more arrests, give out more summonses all to show headquarters they have a tight grip on their neighborhoods. Our primary job is not to assist anybody. Our primary job is to get those numbers and come back with them. Why do it? They have to meet the quota. One arrest, 20 summonses. Things are not going to get any better. It's going to get a lot worse. This audio recording exclusively obtained by Eyewitness News seems to back up Officer Polanco's assertion of a quota. Listen to one officer as he lectures patrolmen during roll call at the 41st Precinct. In another recording, a patrol supervisor appears to step up the pressure to write more and more summonses. Next week, it could be 25 and 1. It could be 35 and 1. And guess what? So you decide you're going to put this job and go talk to the delivery man? This is what you're going to be doing until then. We understand each other. He's being clear. The only choice that we have is to do it. You're telling me that they're just stopping people without a reason? Is that what you're saying? We're stopping kids walking from school. We're stopping kids walking upstairs to their house. We're stopping kids from going to the store. Kids, young adults. In order to keep your activity. In order to keep that quota. And they were just treating us like we were criminals. The Colborne brothers say they and three other friends were the victims of quotas, all arrested a few months ago after one of them had fallen while racing each other. And they just wanted to arrest us. I told them I fell, but nothing didn't matter to them. All five were accused of engaging in tumultuous conduct that caused public alarm, given a summons for unlawful assembly, and locked up overnight. We went through the whole process, and we never even see the judge. They let us out the back door. The charges were dropped, but Officer Polanco says the patrolman still got five summonses toward their monthly quota. Even if the crime is not committed, the number's there. So... Our choice is to come up with a number. One police plaza declined our request for interviews, but Deputy Commissioner Paul Brown said police officers, like others who receive compensation, are provided productivity goals, and they are expected to work. The consequences will be very strong. Consequences that he says includes loss of overtime, shift change, and denial of days off if an officer fails to make his numbers. An intense pressure that Officer Polanco says leads to bogus summonses. I cannot be more honest than I've been. I cannot. There's no reason for me to lie. There's no reason for me to get into trouble I am, because I just could have kept quiet. About a month after Officer Polanco came to us with his story, he was suspended for disobeying orders and pushing his supervisor. It happened after getting into a heated argument for not being allowed to accompany his partner to the hospital after he became ill. Polanco is back at work, but on modified duty, pending the outcome of an investigation. Now, if you have an issue you'd like us to investigate, please give our tip line a call at 877-TIP-NEWS. You may also email us at the.investigators at abc.com. In October, Bill and Liz, Officer Polanco also filed a formal complaint with Internal Affairs. He's worried there'll be more ramifications against him? What do you think?